You're faced with a revolver containing six chambers. A single bullet has been loaded into one of them. The cylinder has been spun, randomizing the bullet's position completely. You must pull the trigger. The fundamental question, after surviving the first shot, should you spin the cylinder again or pull the trigger as is? In standard Russian roulette with a single bullet randomly placed in six chambers, your survival probability on any given shot is exactly 5 out of 6, or approximately 83.33%. The death probability is 1 out of 6, or about 16.67%. But what happens after you survive the first shot? If you pull the trigger and click on an empty chamber, you've gained crucial information. You now know that one of the six chambers is definitely empty, the one that just fired. This means there are only five chambers remaining in the rotation, and exactly one of them contains the bullet. Your survival probability for the next shot, if you don't spin, becomes 4 out of 5, or 80%. Your death probability increases to 1 out of 5, or 20%. Compare this to what happens if you spin the cylinder again. Spinning resets everything back to the original probabilities of 5 out of 6 survival, 83.33%, and 1 out of 6 death, 16.67%. The mathematical verdict is clear. Spinning after surviving the first shot improves your odds by more than three percentage points. Now let's complicate things dramatically. Instead of one bullet, imagine two bullets loaded into adjacent chambers, sitting right next to each other in the cylinder. With two adjacent bullets in six chambers, your baseline survival probability drops to four out of six, or exactly two-thirds, approximately 66.67%. Now if you survive the first shot, should you spin the cylinder again, or pull the trigger as is. When you pull the trigger and survive that first shot, you've learned something crucial about the cylinder's configuration. You know you fired from one of these four empty positions, but you don't know which one. Of the four empty chambers, only one is dangerous, positioned directly before the bullet pair, and three are safe, positioned after the bullet pair, with no bullets following them. Since you survived the first shot, you fired from one of these four empty chambers with equal probability. This means one out of four chance, or 25%, that you fired from the dangerous position. In this case, the next shot hits the bullet and you die. Three out of four chance, or 75%, that you fired from a safe position. In this case, the next shot is empty and you survive. Your survival probability for the second shot without spinning is exactly 75%. This means your survival probability for the second shot, given that you survived the first, is exactly three out of four, or 75%, significantly better than the two-thirds, or 66.67%, you'd get by spinning the cylinder and starting fresh. But what happens when the bullets aren't necessarily adjacent? What if they're randomly placed throughout the cylinder? There are exactly 15 possible ways to arrange two bullets in six chambers. Adjacent arrangements. Six possibilities. Chambers 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5, 5 and 6, 6 and 1. One space apart arrangements. Six possibilities. Chambers 1 and 3, 2 and 4, 3 and 5, 4 and 6, 5 and 1, 6 and 2. Opposite arrangements. Three possibilities. Chambers 1 and 4, 2 and 5, 3 and 6. Now, if you survive the first shot and don't know the bullet configuration, what's your optimal strategy? Let's calculate the weighted probability by analyzing each possible bullet arrangement. For adjacent bullets, 6 out of 15 arrangements. As we calculated earlier, when bullets are adjacent, there's only one dangerous empty chamber out of four total empty chambers. So your survival rate without spinning is three out of four, or 75%. Weighted contribution, six out of 15. Probability multiplied by three out of four survival rate equals 18 out of 60, which is the same as three tenths, or 0 0.30. For one space apart bullets, six out of 15 arrangements. With bullets separated by one chamber, like positions one and three or two and four, there are two dangerous empty chambers out of four total empty chambers. Each bullet has one empty chamber directly before it. So your survival rate without spinning is two out of four, or 50%. Weighted contribution. Six out of 15 probability multiplied by two out of four survival rate equals 12 out of 60, which is the same as one fifth, or 0 0.20. For opposite bullets, three out of 15 arrangements. When bullets are positioned opposite each other, like positions one and four, two and five, or three and six, there are again two dangerous empty chambers out of four total empty chambers. Each bullet has one empty chamber directly before it, so your survival rate without spinning is two out of four, or 50%. Weighted contribution. Three out of 15 probability multiplied by two out of four survival rate equals six out of 60, 
which is the same as one-tenth, or 0 0.10. Total survival probability without spinning, 0 0.30 plus 0 0.2, 0 plus 0 0.10 equals 0 0.60, or 60%. Compare this to spinning the cylinder, which resets your survival probability to the baseline two-thirds, or 66.67%. In the random placement scenario, spinning actually improves your odds by nearly 7 percentage points. You might think, what 7% or 8%? That's barely anything. But consider the profound impact of seemingly small percentage differences. In human genetics, only 0.01% of our DNA accounts for all the physical differences you see between people. A mere 1.3% separates humans from chimpanzees genetically. In democratic systems, the 1984 U.S. presidential election was the last time the popular vote margin exceeded 8%. Most elections are decided by much smaller margins. In public safety, an 8% improvement in road safety would prevent approximately 96,000 deaths annually in the United States alone. In financial mathematics, a $1,000 investment growing at 8% annually doubles in just nine years. The difference between moderate wealth and financial security. When your life hangs in the balance, Every percentage point represents the difference between existing and not existing. An 8% improvement in survival odds isn't trivial. It's the mathematical difference between life and death.